Hello, I'm Kathleen O'Halloran. I'm running for the 88th District of the House of Delegates. Many of you don't know me. I'm a retired federal employee. I've lived in Virginia for 35 years. I graduated from the State University of New York with a, a master's degree in urban planning and policy analysis. And I have a master of arts degree from the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island in national policy and strategic studies. I work for the Office of Management Budget in the President's Office. And I work for the United States Army as an environmental professional. And I held a top secret clearance. I think I have the education experience to be your delegate. My platform is composed of five points transportation solutions, Medicaid expansion, women's health care, support for our public schools, and opposition to voter suppression. I'm sure you're all familiar with the congestion we have on our roads. It's taken us much too long to go to work, to pick up our children from school. We have to pay more for daycare. We're paying more in gas in our cars as we sit idly on the highways. It's just unacceptable. It's hurting us economically. Businesses are not going to want to invest here. So we really have a problem. Recently, the Assembly passed a bipartisan bill that will help improve this problem, bring solutions to it. We all would think that that's a pretty good thing, except that Mark Cole does not think it was good since he voted against it. Medicaid expansion is a good thing for Virginia. It's good because it's going to bring 35,000 new health care jobs, it's going to provide health insurance for 400,000 low-wage earners. And it's going to bring billions of dollars into our economy. So the hospitals agree, doctors agree, regular folks agree that this is a good thing for Virginia. But Mark Cole does not agree since he voted against it. Last session, the Assembly proposed a personhood bill. For those of you that are not familiar with that, one of the impacts was that it would make common birth control pills illegal in the state of Virginia. It would also make it impossible for doctors to help infertile couples have children. There's another bill called the transvaginal ultrasound bill. This bill would come between a woman and her doctor. Doctors don't believe it's necessary and the women don't think it's necessary, but yet the bill proposed that government would be making that decision. Now, I think most people would agree that these are not good bills, but unfortunately, Mark Cole thought they were because he either proposed them or he voted for them or both. We all agree that our public schools are important. They're important for our children and they're important for our future because they are the workforce of the future. So we really need to support these schools. Since 2009, Funding in Virginia has gone down for our public schools. Classrooms are overcrowded, after school activities have been cut. Virginia teachers' salaries rank 34th in the nation. I think that's unacceptable for Virginians. Mark Cole has been in office for 10 years and he sits on the education committee. We can do better. The right to vote is the most important right we have to preserve our democracy. We all have to participate. We should be expanding voter rights and not decreasing them. Mark Cole, who sits on the Elections Committee, proposed a bill that made it a requirement to have a photo ID and eliminated the old ways of identifying yourself, such as a utility bill, etc. So this makes it very, very difficult for a lot of our population to vote. And we should be going the other way. We shouldn't be cutting back and making it more difficult to vote. We should be making it easier. So I hope you agree with me on these five points and you'll vote for me on November 5th. I'm looking forward to serving you. If you want to know more about me, please go to my website, ohalloranfordelegate.org, and you can find out more about these issues and you can volunteer for my campaign and even donate to my campaign. Thank you very much.